Hey guys! Oh my goodness, it's been a really long time, but uh, here I am, Necha of Tolu Necha, back at you guys. Um, and I know like we have such a long list of videos to get done, and I promise they are coming soon. Uh, if you guys have me on Snapchat, I guess you've seen my school year so far. A lot of you guys have been reaching out. I know a lot of you guys are working on your college applications. So keep up the good work and you guys will get through this. Keep in mind, like, you guys can always reach out to either me, you can reach out to Tolu, and we're literally here to help you guys with any questions you may have during your college application process. So it is, like, mid-November right now. And um, one time-sensitive, I guess, topic that I want to talk about was something away from the academics right so um a lot of you may have seen on like my snapchat or um i don't know if you i've talked about it before but this video is going to be all about greek life sororities fraternities etc and what it's like being black in these spaces and i'll speak from my personal experience specifically being black in a sorority that's mostly white or like non-black yeah so a lot of people have different opinions about th these types of things and like you guys um some of you guys might think about greek life when you get to penn or get to whatever college you go to and i just want to talk about a little bit of that um just share my experience yeah i'm like i feel like you guys kind of know my personality by now and yeah so i just want to talk about how i exist in a uh, white sorority <laughs> What is it like to be black in a white sorority? A lot of people have asked me that because I'm in actually an off-campus organization, so it's not um, one of those nationally recognized sororities. There's a lot of those on campus. I just wasn't interested. And I guess I'll just go through and talk about why I wasn't interested in like an on-campus sorority, why I did an off-campus one, and why I did a non-divine nine sorority. So yeah. So um, why a sorority in the first place? So personally, I came to Penn and I was like, sororities, not for me. Y'all can have that. That's all you guys. I'm not about to, I'm not one of those girls, right? I'm not one of those sorority girls like, oh, ha, ha, sorority stuff. Yeah, not my personality. Like, I wasn't with it. So when I got to Penn, I literally was not worried about sororities. I was not checking for any of that stuff my freshman year. I had a great time my freshman year socially without being in any Greek life. Like, I was fine. Or so I thought. But like, you know, I had a great time my freshman year just going to parties and stuff with my friends, no affiliations, nothing, right? And I think I had a good time, right? But then sophomore year came around and I got like, I got like bored. It wasn't just bored, but it was like a sense of like, like what now? Like I've been here for a year, I've done a lot, like I've partied, I've gone to all the parties, but like what else? And like, you know, and as like a black freshman, a lot of the parties I went to were like all black parties. I went to a lot of those. And then I'm not gonna lie, sometimes I would go to um, the doors of like the white parties and I would feel like, oh, like, oh, can I go in? They're like, who do you know here? And I'm not gonna lie, I did not know a lot of little white boys or whoever that were in the frat, so they're like, sorry, party's full. And you know, like me, a little black girl trying to go to these parties, didn't know anyone. And you know, so I was never really like, I didn't feel welcomed in a lot of those places. So I just never went, right? So that was my freshman year, mostly black parties. Um, yeah, sophomore year though, like I said, I started feeling like, what else can I do? Like, is this all there is to pen? Like I'm bored, I feel like my social life, like there's nothing, no social aspect I have. I feel like everything that I'm doing at Penn is academic related, like all my clubs are pre-law. I just feel stuck and like kind of bored and miserable almost. I'm speaking from personal experience, um, but I do have a few friends that felt the same way by sophomore year. So. I start looking around like what can I add to my social life like where can I have some more fun like you know just like you know enjoy school because I didn't want to be miserable here and I have a friend and I saw she was always at these events like dressing up going to all these things and I was like huh like I didn't even really know her that well but she's this black girl and she was in something called Oaks like that's what it's called here it's called Oaks and I was like hmm so I messaged her one day and I'm like, what is that? Like, what is that all about? Like, does it cost a lot of money? Like, like, what do you do? Like, how did you get in there? Are people racist? Like, you know, I was like, if I'm looking at this or like considering it at all, like I need all the details. And this girl, when I messaged her was so happy, so excited. She's like, let's meet up. Oh my gosh, come to one of our events. Like, you know, so I was like, okay. 
went to her went to one of their events this is another sophomore i was a sophomore at the time met her talked to her loved her i was like huh well if i like you like what are these other girls like and i ended up meeting a lot of um her friends like some were white some were like um hispanic like i met a lot of different types of girls and i was like what is this organization like and i was like these people are like nice like you know it was really like huh so i started going to a few of the events and like you know i really liked the girls and these were girls that were like me they didn't seem like sorority girls so like i was like hmm so you know like long story short i ended up like rushing like i just really kept going to the events and had a great time met a lot of the girls in the organization and i was like i freaking love you guys they ended up taking me they don't really take sophomores so a lot of this realization is good to have by freshman year but yeah uh so as a sophomore they took me into other sophomores and like you know literally literally best decision socially that i've made at penn since i've gotten here um personally i'm speaking from personal experience like oh my goodness like going to like having oaks now like has been like the highlight of my social life like don't get me wrong you can still have a great time without a sorority or something but for me personally literally like it lit up my social life i had events to go to every week i have these cool girls that i can rely on, rely on for anything like there was like 52 girls in my uh in my class so like literally i would send a text like to the group chat like anyone have like a phone charger in the library like literally five people would respond in two seconds just the little things are like you know oh my god i have physical therapy after class can someone bring me shorts someone literally would meet up with me on campus bring me shorts oh my gosh i'm hungry and i want to eat lunch literally any of these girls will come to eat with you literally you you're having a hard time any of these girls would be down to come to speak with you and just hang out with you lay in your bed watch a movie with you and they're so nice like you know so it was just nice to have don't get me wrong like i had a group of friends already like from freshman year but just having this additionally was literally like it lit up my whole life like <laughs> I, I don't mean to be dramatic but this is like honestly why i chose to join one of those um and that's why i joined a sorority i really needed something like social like that can add to my experience at penn and i found it in these girls i was really hesitant keep in mind i was like i'm not doing this like this is gonna be expensive like these guys i better not get haze like all this crazy stuff and these girls were genuine and i freaking love them so much and this is me someone who was not into sororities at all so that's why i joined a sorority Yeah, and a lot of people want to know, like, why I chose Oaks in particular? Why I did an off-campus organization instead of um, an on-campus one? And by the time I got to Penn, Oaks was actually created in 2015. It's, Oaks actually stands for Old Alpha Guy. So it used to be an on-campus organization. They ended up moving off-campus. Um, and off-campus, there's no regulation as to, like, you don't have to pay crazy amounts of money to a national chapter um we could basically govern ourselves and i feel like there's a freedom in that like we can throw parties if we want to we can do whatever we want because we don't have to follow the sororities only good frat parties like you know all those rules etc and i think that's pretty great so um yeah that's why i chose oaks and like i feel like with the off-campus thing comes this like particular this specific personality like um the girls are different i don't know how to explain that other than like if you actually meet them like they're i don't know down to earth they're diverse in not just like race but in like interest and like skills like a lot of the girls are like on, are on like a comedy performing team a lot of the girls are like on the soccer team like i don't know like and then there's people like me whatever you want to call that um so yeah it's like a uh, very uh different mix of people and that's what i enjoy um in oaks in particular okay yeah and then i guess being in one of these organizations another thing a lot of people wonder is like what is it like being a black person in one of these spaces because you know especially like 2018 like trump is our freaking president like you don't know what it's like being black or like a minority at all in one of these like predominantly white spaces i guess that goes for penn in general and in something like greek life so personally i was very hesitant i was like mm, not gonna do something that's just all white because you know like my freshman year the way things went was like all my friends were black it's kind of just like how it naturally happened um i don't know that's just how it happened i don't have an explanation but that's how it was i guess you go where you're comfortable and i was comfortable with all the black kids that's just the reality of it and then 
um, after being joining this organization and after like going to these events like I guess I was forced to step outside of just like the people I originally talked to and I started meeting all these other people and I was like huh like I actually like them like these people like they're not problematic like I've met a good amount of people you know because people like I feel like I sometimes could get so caught up in this is problematic that's problematic this is racist that's racist and that's very true there's a lot of that that goes on but not every person of another race that you meet is that is like that like not everyone's gonna be racist that you meet although it's very easy to think that that's how it's gonna be so of course I had my like you know like suspicions coming into this space and I was very cautious about it and I was like I'm not tolerating anything so if I'm not comfortable like no but to my surprise like I think this might be Oaks like don't get me wrong there's problematic sororities out there of course problematic fraternities out there too but uh, the one I'm in specifically like Oaks I guess it's known for being the most diverse on campus and I'm all about diversity and different types of people so one of my biggest things was a lot of the girls that I met were like they were all the same I guess it wasn't like all like white blonde girls like you know it was different people there was people of different races I was like okay interesting and then like even the white people that I met like I found myself like this is just an example I found that a lot of the times um, if something problematic happens and at like a party or something with someone like that's not in our sorority or someone like one of the white frat brothers or something like if anything problematic ever happens you know it's like if you're black or if you're a minority you know how tiring it gets to always be the person that has to be like don't say that because don't say the n-word because this or like you know or don't do this because that's offensive to my people like you know this stuff like that that gets tiring it's like why is that my job all the time when people should know better however <laughs> I found that like at times something would happen and I'd be ready to be like listen like literally someone else like another like yes white person in my sorority would be like listen this shouldn't be my place to have to say this but you other white people this this and that this is problematic because this this and that and you shouldn't like you know like going off like preaching for me and like not just for me but like just preaching in general like preaching to other people as to why their behavior is problematic etc etc girls in my sorority like I was like and it's crazy because I feel like when you're black at some at some points sometimes you're like okay not everything is worth fighting about and I'm just gonna like you know let this slide whatever not let this slide but I'm not gonna waste my energy to fight this you know and I found that you know um, those times when I'm like I'm not I'm really just not gonna fight this because I don't have the energy there's one of those girls in my sorority that know better and they're fighting it for me like I never even had to open my mouth because someone's already saying something like you know whether it's with each other or whether it's with uh, someone outside of the sorority etc like or whether like an issue happens at the school these girls are fighting for me uh, and like you know not fighting for me directly but just fighting for what's right and like you know preaching about things like that and that's already like <laughs> I'm not gonna lie I'm not gonna lie when I first joined I was like oh like you know I'm gonna have to you know fight people <laughs> but I found that they were <laughs> I guess I I guess it's bad because I mean I didn't expect this much but then these the type of girls that I'm a shorty with are willing to go to that extent for me like without even me having to say anything that's just the type of girls they are so I guess I hate like you know the term woke but these are like woke girls I don't know the whole organization is pretty much like that so that was a big selling factor to me <laughs> Um, so yeah, that's why I joined like I'm not about and f being from freaking Southern California I I'm in groups of like all types of people so like I hunt like most of my friends are black at home Yeah, but Southern California a lot like my best friends Mexican like literally I've been around all types of people my other best friend Filipino like literally all types of people like my friend group was very diverse so coming to Penn I'm like okay had all black friends was very comfortable hung off a lot of Nigerians very comfortable and now it's come to the point where I'm in a sorority with a lot of white girls um Asians what else like <laughs> like um Hispanic girls and I'm still like very comfortable so that's why um I was okay with doing a white sorority yeah people might think these people are problematic etc etc but a lot of the times that's just like a blanket statement and if you don't take the time to see for yourself what these groups are about specifically and individually because some different groups are very different but mine in particular were known for being like the progressive like the the diverse one you know so I guess um, I'm not speaking for all white Greek life, etc., but I'm speaking for Oaks in particular. That's why I was okay with doing it. And what it came down to was Neche. Like, what, before I joined this, I was miserable, okay? Penn was like kicking my butt 
and I just was I didn't want I did not want to be here I did not want to be at this school like you know it just got to that point where I was like miserable almost socially I was miserable and I needed something like I talked about earlier like some type of purpose like some type of enjoyment in my life and uh joining this organization like I found that and I was happy like I was happy again I was happy to like uh, hang out with these girls. I was happy to go to events like they they do events where like we'll pair with the frats and we'll go like on a bus to the road uh, to the skating rink and I've gone skating. Um, what else have we done? We've gone apple picking together. Literally the cutest little thing. So I dressed up and went apple picking. Um, we do like brunch and like uh, like we take a bus and go to brunch. Things like that and it's just cute. Oh my goodness informal formal we dressed up super fancy last year formal was like on the waterfront like literally like these are all experiences that i've been missing i missed out on freshman year because i was too like zero design for me um formal was really nice what else there's something called pool party like black community we're like what who's going to pool party like we're not about to pay money to go to some party downtown i went to pool party last year had the time of my life that's probably one of my best memories and i just feel like a lot of like the way i used to be like you know i was like i'm not doing any of that stuff like black people don't do that type of stuff etc but that is so closed-minded so close-minded and yeah i was very close-minded my freshman year and i'll admit it until i looked at this i was like let me go see what that's about because it looks interesting and i loved it so i think it's all about taking the time to learn about these different things if you think you might be interested in something ask about it find someone if you want something that looks like you something find someone that looks like you and something and ask them about it like I'm so happy to talk to anyone um, that wants to be in Oaks now and this year a lot of black little freshmen see me in Oaks and they're like that looks fun what are you doing can we talk about it and I'm like yes 100% yes because I'm enjoying myself and I don't want people to be so close-minded that they can't even pursue something or even look um, at something they may be interested in because what they're black so yeah that's a big thing for me Um, so with that being said, um, I don't know, growing up, like, Greek life was never, like, we're Nigerian, like, my parents were always like, you're not about to join a black sorority, like, that's worse, that's, like, cults and stuff like that, etc, etc, like, you're not allowed to be in that, da, 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 da. So I did not come, I came to, like, Penn, like, my mom says I can't be even, I can't be an AKA, da, 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 like, whatever, because, like, my mom said no. So I was just like, I never looked at it, was never interested, you know, like I said, I wasn't interested in any Greek life, black, white, nothing, I was not interested at all, so, um, I just, that's not what I came to college looking for, and yeah, like, I have friends that are AKAs, I have friends that are Deltas, etc., and like, we're still friends, like, we still party together, we still hang out, we all just have different, like, social scenes now, and that's fine, and like, we're all thriving in our own ways, it's all about the type of person that you are, and what you think you would fit in with, like, uh, I just didn't see, like, even after, like, sophomore year, like, I was like, okay, I don't think black Greek life is for me, that's a personal thing. If you want to talk about that one-on-one, -on -one, we could talk about that and why I thought wasn't for me. That's a different conversation. That's all I can say. Like, you have to figure out the type of person you are and know where you would fit in, know what you'd be comfortable with, etc. It's all about knowing yourself. I think that's really what it is. Seeing different things, seeing different types of people and organizations and figuring out if that's for you or if it's not. If it's for you, perfect, amazing. If it's not for you, that's okay too. Find something else that's for you. Black Greek life was not for me. <laughs> was white Greek life for me? I don't really know. But was Oaks for me? Yes. Because I will not make Oaks and white Greek life synonymous because they're very, they're different. <laughs> okay. Um, some of the other white organizations, I don't know, they all have their own stereotypes. But I know that uh, organization like Oaks uh, was for me and I'm so happy to be in it I wear all my freaking gear all the time because I freaking love those girls and I love the organization so you know it really just comes down to the type of person you are okay I literally already filmed this video on my camera I'm literally editing and was watching and was like I cannot believe I left this out Oaks my sorority in particular literally has a diversity committee which I'm on and we it's like you know to help with diversity and not just diversity in like races but diversity in terms of like the different types of people you're going to meet whether that's socioeconomic background like learning about different types of people um and their backgrounds or whether that's race and last week we actually did gender and sexual um and sexual identity so this is like really cool really progressive little did i know that going in i would have um, a diversity committee that I can be a part of and to teach other people in areas they might not be that knowledgeable about and so many people are involved and it's great like I did not expect any of that but yeah that's what I found coming in and then 
yeah, a lot of people want to know what it was like, um, like in the black community when I came out and did this thing. Like, you know, all of a sudden I'm Necha, who had all black friends freshman year, sophomore year joins a, an all white, which is what they call it, basically a white sorority. People at first were like, okay okay Neche, okay so yeah of course people are looking at me funny like what the heck like Neche, what are you doing but of course like of course like if if me freshman year if i saw a black i'm not gonna lie me freshman year if i saw a black person join a, a white organization i'd be like that's interesting like why did you do that like did you forget you're black like you know that's literally how people come into this school until you literally learn to think for yourself but no, when I joined, um, yeah, people looked at me funny at first. And then at the end of the day, nobody cared anymore. Because guess what? Who was living that life? Who was in that org in the organization? Me. Was it them? No. Everyone <laughs> everyone does their own thing. So they're looking at me like, oh, wow, Mitch is an Oaks. Okay, interesting. And I'm like, yeah, interesting. And I'm having a great time. <laughs> so now those same parties that I was talking about freshman year, like, Oh, you walk to the door and they're like, oh, who do you know here? I know everybody because I'm here every week. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. There's like, there's definitely social advantages that I have now in various spaces. Like now I'm like, yeah, I could go to all the black parties and I could go to all the white parties. Now I could have my formal and like uh, go to my date nights and it's just cute. Like I'm having a great time. I feel like it's almost like I have the best of both worlds. Now people always talk whether you do a black whether you're in black Greek life, whether you're in white Greek life, whether you're not in Greek life, people always have an opinion about it. And at the end of the day, I think the biggest thing is that whose life is it? It's your life at the end of the day. Who is in the organization? Me, at the end of the day. I know what I'm doing and I'm the one living it. And if it makes me happy, then best believe I'm gonna freaking do it because I'm having a great time and my pen experience has been enhanced. So um but then again like on the other hand don't feel like this is a video telling you you have to join greek life to have fun no like tolu's on um the cheer team tolu has date nights with the cheer team tolu has potlucks etc with the cheer team she travels to games with the cheer team you know things like that so she has her group like i've never been to princeton i've never been to harvard and tolu's been to all of that because she cheers um at those games etc so literally no matter what group you join you're gonna have different experiences socially and i just think the biggest um part is joining something to have a freaking great time in that thing that you're doing because um at the end of the day you want to have fun in college as well um don't be afraid to try to figure out where you fit in where you'll have a good time because i feel as if my decision to join oaks in particular has probably been like the highlight of my college career socially like i've had a freaking great time and there's like a lot of these people especially at somewhere like penn a lot of these people are going to be important <laughs> a lot of these people have important parents etc and there's a lot of connections that you can um get like in greek life in general whether it's like black greek life white greek life just having a large network of people that you know and have good relationships with is great just like the social aspect of your college career matters a lot and um in terms of enjoying myself in terms of getting to know people um etc greek life has really like enhanced that for me But yeah, all in all, that's why I, Neche, joined um, a white sorority. Do I regret it? Nope. Have I had a great time? Yes. Would I recommend other people joining Greek life? Yes, because I'm biased, only because I'm having a great time and it's been, um, I don't know, it's been really fulfilling to me. And literally, it's not all about the social, it's not all about partying also about like philanthropy so our organization actually raised seventeen thousand dollars for an organization called women against abuse last year and all money like the whole 17 something thousand dollars went to the organization and we just had um women from the organization come and speak to us and talk about how important um and how thankful they are for our organization and raising that money for them every year so there's definitely um giving back involved it's so many things that i just feel really good about joining and yeah, so Greek life has done wonders for my social life. I have a great time. I know way more people in all different communities, all different races now. Like, I don't feel like I'm so stuck. I feel like I can do the black parties. I can do the white parties. Like, I can do everything now and I'm welcomed in any space. Um, it's all about really just making sure 
you try to experience those areas because it's really easy to just be bundled up in your one space and be content with it so yeah um that's all i've got for you guys a lot of people have really been asking why don't you make a video about greek life why don't you make a video about greek life well here it is if you guys have any more questions i'm more than happy to answer just let me know uh, make sure to follow me and Tolu on Instagram. Make sure to follow me and Tolu on Snapchat, which we don't really use anymore. But a lot of you guys have messaged me on Snapchat, and I always message you back. Instagram is a really good one for me, and I love Instagram followers. So <laughs> make sure you guys follow us. And yeah, uh, I don't know where Tolu is, but this is Necha signing off as Necha of Tolu Necha. Bye, guys.